Good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Got my good coffee. Mmm. Good stuff. Nourishment to the soul. Not the coffee. This is nourishment to the soul. The good word. You know, we're so tied up in everything. Being so busy these days. Am I the only one? Or, 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 or is anyone out there busy in their lives? So many things going to and fro. You know, we had Easter Sunday and some of the words of Jesus that he's been speaking into my heart over and over and over again as we're coming out of that that period of Holy Week, of the crucifixion, the resurrection. And then we get back into the, like we say, the real world on Monday. But Jesus told us something in John fourteen twenty seven. He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Peace. I prayed with a friend in the hospital a few weeks ago. He's still in the hospital, and I left him with that word, peace. You know, he was always a busy man, but he was forced to slow down. Found himself in a hospital bed. Don't make it have to get to that point. Find a way to kind of slow down. Not to be so enraptured by the things of the world. There's so many distractions out there. The Apostle Paul told this to the young pastor, Timothy. He told him in 2 Timothy 2.4, he said, Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. God has given us a charge. He's given us something that we need to do. And sometimes we get tied up in all the things in the world. You know what? The only thing that the world provides is distractions from our distractions. A life focused on Jesus provides just that. Focus. Focus is the opposite of distraction. It, it, it gives us clarity. You know what gives us clarity? This, the Word of God. This is what we need to be focused on. Turn off the news. You know, we, we, you can. You don't have to watch it all day, every day. You can turn off Facebook, turn off social media. You don't have to be wrapped up in all the turmoil of those around you, or maybe even in your own family. Focus on this. Look, I want this to be your prayer for today. I want you to find Psalms 119.18. It's the verse, but it's going to be our prayer today, too. It says, Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. These are God's instructions. Pray that He shows you a, a life of clarity. Pray that He shows you a life of peace. Lord God, that is our prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look, don't forget, I love you and God loves you, too. You have a wonderful day. Amen.